There's been a new development in the Ford government's plans to redevelop Ontario Place, a pause in those plans ordered by the courts. Clara Pasika joins us now from Ontario Place with the latest. Clara. Well, Dwight, the latest is that there won't be any redevelopment here at Ontario Place, at least for a few days. A group that calls themselves Ontario Place Protectors, which is a coalition of individuals and organizations who are opposed to uh, the Ford government's plan to, redevelopment, to redevelop Ontario Place, uh, including uh, a mega spa here. Uh, they're seeking to strike down laws which could uh, dramatically uh, change the course of events here. And they've been granted a construction pause for now by the courts. I had the chance to speak to their lawyer, who says that they're challenging the rebuild Ontario Place Act, arguing that it violates the Canadian Constitution. Our clients are raising two constitutional arguments. The Constitution may sound a little old or a little complicated, but this case really isn't. The Constitution basically says judges get certain powers. And unfortunately, in the view of many people, the current legislation regarding Ontario Place has taken a great number of those powers away. And our client will be saying to the court, that's unconstitutional. You just can't do that. The second argument is that land doesn't belong to the current government. It belongs to the people of Ontario and to future de generations. And that creates a trust. And again, unfortunately, many people are saying the actions of the Ontario government recently have broken that trust. That's also a constitutional argument. That's what we'll be talking about on July 19th. I had a chance to take a look at some of those court documents a little earlier this morning. And this interim measure that's been granted by the court that all the parties agree to mean that the Ontario government, it can't destroy uh, any of the plant life here, any of the bushes, any of the trees. It also can't make any permanent changes to the buildings here at Ontario Place. Um, the infrastructure minister, Kinga Surma, she was also asked about this matter by Toronto Star journalist Rob Benzi yesterday. Her answers to that questions were brief. There is an, an action in place. It's before the courts. And so, as you know, I cannot comment. Uh, the hearing is taking place, though, on July 19th. So... What's happening on July 19th exactly? Well, the judge is going to hear from all of the parties and uh, the judge will then decide if this case is going to proceed. And the lawyer for Ontario Place Protector says if that happens, then they'll be seeking um, to extend this uh, construction pause. I mean, the quick big question here, Clara, is just how significant could a win be here for the fate of the future of Ontario Place? Certainly is the big question of the hour, and that's also something that I did ask this uh, this lawyer about. Now, to be clear, this court date is to decide if this uh, proceeds. Uh, but if the court uh, rules that this uh, is the the winning argument and this is successful, could mean that plans for Ontario Place could take a nosedive. Our clients are successful then the end result would be the legislation that the government wants to use to move forward wouldn't be there anymore. It would be declared unconstitutional. That would mean the government is going to have to rethink this whole project. And fundamentally, there are a lot of rules that were put in place by a lot of thoughtful effort over many, many years. Those rules are not in place right now. If this claim is successful, then the end result may well be those rules will come back into play and the outcome for what happens at Ontario Place could be dramatically different. Now for those thinking, you know, this sounds a little bit familiar. Uh, that's because this isn't the first time uh, that uh, a coalition group has tried to challenge uh, the Ford government's plans for Ontario Place in court. Another group, Ontario Place for All, also made an attempt at a court challenge that wasn't successful. This sort of picked off just uh, uh, around the time that that one concluded. But, you know, this is a new, this is a new case, uh, new arguments going to be made. So we don't know what's going to happen here, but Next week could be another dynamic week in Ontario politics. Yes, it could. Clara Pasika down at Ontario Place. Thank you, Clara.